Okay, so I'm about uh, halfway between Harvard and MIT, and I'm hoping that some of this brilliance out here is going to rub off. But I uh, wanted to at least give you each a little bit of insight on my amendment. Sorry, I can't be there with you tonight, but uh, I look forward to certainly talking about these with you going forward and voting together on our budget in a couple of weeks. Uh, amendment number four is the first one, the solar electric permitting. And I just wanted to let you know that uh, solar panels are relatively easy to add to a rooftop. And in most cases, the racking, that's the frame underneath, is done in one or two days. Panels uh, being laid out another one to two days and the electrical hookup takes about a day. So it's really a job that uh, even a small crew of one to two people can do the install on. Um, this was precipitated actually in my amendment by, uh, I heard from an installer about how much he'd recently been charged here. He was a little upset about that. So I called John Crook, uh, who told me, you know, how we calculate, um, you know, the permitting costs in Fitchburg. And to this point, it, you know, there haven't been that many. So it's just been lumped in with all other types of uh, building alteration and construction permits. So applicants were charged a flat to do, or one percent of the total job cost. So that's not really a problem with a ten thousand dollar residential roof job, which then would cost roughly a hundred dollars plus uh, the electric permit, which is also a percentage of the job size. But it's way out of proportion for a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar commercial job like this one that I heard from the installer on. So it turns out we're quite a bit higher than both the municipalities that I did reach, uh, that I did get through to when I, I um, wanted to find out what others were doing in Dane County. And that was Middleton. We were uh, about a little more than twice as high. Madison, we were about 10 times as high. So I'm proposing that we charge a fee that reflects, you know, the time that it takes really for our inspection teams, but uh, really to incentivize solar. So there's three aspects to the fees. Uh, the first one is the permit itself, and that's the 20, minimum 20 to maximum $200 fee. Then a plan review fee, which should be reflective of time spent. I'm using the 25 minimum to 200 cap on that. And then finally, the electric permit that I'm saying we should just go with what Madison's done. They, they charge per opening and each panel uh, is inspected, so that's an opening. And uh, there's no upper limit on that because you could have a job with you know thousands of panels uh, in practice. But each solar panel um, does have a little connection, and so that makes sense. At any rate, to use that $250,000 job as an example, um, we would probably charge the maximum for the solar and review portions, so that's about $400. But then there would be, if you have the panels or the openings uh, fee uh, slate in front of you, there's actually an up to um, 20 uh, openings, then up to 40, and then 40 to, to 100, and then over 100 openings. Uh, the total for that one would be, it would have been about 450 uh, openings or uh, panels to be looked at, that would have cost uh, $305. So the total charge then for that um, permit would have been a little over $700, $705, uh, which is still significantly higher than Madison, um, but now a little less than Middleton's and uh, about, uh, oh, I think he said he paid $2,400, so $2,400, $2,500. So, um, it's about 30% of what he actually paid uh, for that one. So that's the rationale for, uh, you know, giving or having a specific solar permit.